everybody. Today we're going to talk about osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is a progressive degenerative bone disease most commonly associated with aging. This abnormal thinning of bones can cause progress without pain or other symptoms until a break or fracture occurs. Osteoporosis is incurable, but it is preventable and it is treatable. Osteoporosis becomes more common as age advances. About 15% of people in their 50s and about 70% of those age 80 and over are affected by this process. It is more common in women than it is in men. Typically, an individual may not even know they have osteoporosis until they do fracture. These fractures are most frequently found in the vertebral column, mainly the spine, the ribs, the hips, and the wrist. Until one suffers a fracture, it's often quite silent and uh, people wouldn't even know that they uh, have the uh, condition. When one experiences a compression fracture of the spine due to osteoporosis, it usually is surrounded by the onset of pain either in the low back or in the thoracic spine or it can be radiating down to the lower extremities or around the rib cage, depending on whether or not it's pressing on a nerve. Also, it can lead to deformity of the spine because as the compression fracture occurs, the body tends to bend more forward, known as kyphosis, and this can lead to a stooped over or a hunched position. Let's discuss some of the risk factors for osteoporosis. Probably uh, one of the most important is age. In men, the aging process uh, may result in a decrease in testosterone levels, which can have a significant effect on uh, increasing osteoporosis. In women, following menopause or surgical removal of the ovaries, there is a reduction in bone mineral density following uh, estrogen deficiency. The general stature of a person is also of a component for osteoporosis. Those with a small build do have a higher risk of osteoporosis. Another factor is genetics. Uh, is there a family history of a fracture or osteoporosis? Those with a history are at an increased risk of developing osteoporosis themselves. Vitamin D deficiency is also important. It's important to get adequate consumptions of vitamin D and those uh, with decreased amounts of vitamin D, whether related to uh, hormonal conditions or intake uh, deficiencies, are at an increased risk of osteoporosis. Excessive consumption of alcohol can also be affecting and causing osteoporosis. Tobacco smoking, cigarettes, can also be related to osteoporosis. Lack of proper nutrition or malnutrition has also been associated with uh, osteoporosis. Also being underweight or inactive is a factor that can lead to osteoporosis. To understand a bit about osteoporosis and why it happens, we have to understand a bit about bone physiology. Bone is constantly being created and broken down by the body. At any point, about 10% of the bone is undergoing this process. The cells which create bone are known as osteoblasts, and those which uh, resorb or take away bone are osteoclasts. This is a healthy and normal process, and there's a balance to this. The three main reasons why one can develop osteoporosis is that there is an inadequate bone mass at the peak of one's development, or there is excessive bone resorption or inadequate formation of new bone during this process. Bone in the body consists of the hard cortical surface of the bone and then the soft trabecular portion or the cancellous bone which we see known as the honeycomb type of the bone. We all know this when we uh, uh, eat chicken and we have a chicken bone that's broken. The inside is the trabecular cancellous honeycomb portion and the outside is the hard cortical bone. During osteoporosis, it's the inside trabecular bone that is often uh, dis dissolved away or whittled away and becomes much weaker, and that ultimately causes the bone to lose its strength and uh, crack and fracture, leading ultimately to fractures in the cortical bone as well.
The diagnosis of osteoporosis is done through our radiographic imaging. Initially, we might see on an x-ray that there's a fracture of the uh, spine, and we can also see thinning and weakening of the cancellus and cortical bone. The gold standard for diagnosing osteoporosis is a uh, x-ray study known as a DEXA scan, D-E-X-A, or otherwise known as a dual energy x-ray absorptometry test. Osteoporosis is diagnosed when the bone mineral density is less than two and a half standard deviations below the bone density of a young, perhaps a 30-year-old gentleman. There are measures which one can take to prevent and even reverse osteoporosis. Lifestyle is very important, as many of the factors of osteoporosis that place one at risk can be eliminated, and when one does eliminate those, it can reverse it. For instance, tobacco smoking, high alcohol intake, are very important to try to uh, decrease. Nutrition is very important. Adequate nutrition levels are very important in trying to strengthen bone. Uh, lifestyle is very important. Weight-bearing endurance exercises are very important to try to strengthen bone and reverse osteoporosis. Of course, one has to use good judgment and consult their physician because excessive uh, weight-bearing uh, exercises can cause fractures if the bone is already weak but a progressive type of uh, exercise program in conjunction with other measures can also strengthen bone. It's a very interesting that even very healthy astronauts when in the weightless environment of outer space do lose bone density, uh, which is uh, measurable when they return to Earth. There are a number of medications which has also been used to treat osteoporosis. Some of them, such as the bisphosphonates, uh, work by inhibiting osteoclasts, and others such as uh, teripartide or forteo works by uh, stimulating osteoblastic uh, deposition and creation of new bone. It is rare that osteoporosis itself is lethal, but there is an increased mortality due to the complications of the fractures. For instance, vertebral body fractures can lead to severe chronic pain, which can also uh, lead to deformity. This can lead to a hunchback type of approach and resulting on pressure on the organs and the lungs, making it difficult for one to breathe. Hip fractures can lead to immobility and the complications associated with that, such as a deep venous thrombosis on the legs with possible pulmonary embolism. In addition, Aside from the risk of death and other complications, these types of fractures are associated with a decreased quality of life. Because of this, we can see that osteoporosis is not curable, but it can be treated, it can be prevented, and it can be improved, as long as one understands the risk factors, how it's caused, and what it is one can do to change one's lifestyle to try to get the bones as strong as they can so we can have as good a quality of life as possible. If you would like to have a question answered by Dr. Krauss, just complete the form at www.spinehealth.com forward slash contact hyphen us dot php. In the contact form, you'll notice a box requesting insurance. In this box, just simply type Ask Dr. Krauss. Thank you very much for listening, and we look forward to seeing you soon next time.